बसमिलकुम डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दी ऑनलाइन लेक्चर ऑन मैट लैब सिमुलेशन ऑन कंट्रोल सिस्टम्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस पेपर ऑन एडाप्टिव न्यूरल नेटवर्क कंट्रोल फॉर नॉन स्ट्रिक्ट फीडबैक नॉन लीनियर सिस्टम्स विद इनपुट डिले सो देर आर टू स्पेशल थिंग्स अबाउट टूडेज लेक्चर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टूडेज लेक्चर इन्वॉल्व द कंट्रोल दैट इज इन्वॉल्विंग डीले एंड द सेकेंड स्पेशल थिंग इज दैट देर आर सम न्यूरल नेटवर्कस इन्वॉल्व इन द कंट्रोल एज वेल सो दिस पेपर इज पब्लिश इन इन्फॉर्मेशन साइंस इन टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कैरी आउट रिसर्च बेस्ड ऑन दिस वीडियो और दिस पेपर आई रिकमेंड दैट यू डाउनलोड दिस पेपर फ्राम द कोरस्पॉन्डिंग वेबसाइट or the library of your university so uh, let's look at the type of the systems discussed here so uh, the systems that are discussed here in this paper are of this type where uh, the derivative of of the state it depends upon the next state and some function of the Uh, state itself and uh, this goes on as uh, up until the last uh, state where uh, the input control input is uh, delayed by some constant value tau and the control also involves some sort of neural networks here and uh, the neural neural networks are defined with the help of uh, so neural networks are wa waiting vector times this uh, phi function phi function is a function of state and uh, there are some things which are not uh, available in this paper some details are not available in this paper so i'm going to assume those details and i'm going to also guide you uh, how you can uh, deal with uh, this situation of course one way is to track back to the references in this paper and uh, Uh, find out the earlier paper that discuss this type of neural networks and you can get uh, the values that are not given in this paper okay so this is a exponential function uh, of state and there is some vi and eta uh, so so eta denotes the width of the gaussian function so eta is not given in the paper but uh, we we can assume any value of eta and uh you can work with uh, you know you can do ex experiments on different uh, assuming different values of eta and how that affects the results of the paper similarly l is greater than 1 but we don't know what is the exact value of l that is to be taken in this uh, simulations or related to this paper and finally the uh, vi which are the center of the receptive domain these are also not given for each of uh, so i have assumed the center to be zero but uh, you can uh, add different values to the center as well then there are some uh, uh, you know in order to eliminate the influence of the input delay on the controller design the, uh, the auxiliary system has been introduced auxiliary system is lambda 1 dot is equal to lambda 2 minus p1 times lambda 1 and so on so this is the auxiliary system and then there are some uh, uh, these parameters uh, theta hat uh, is the estimation of the unknown parameter theta so there are some unknown parameters which are estimated using uh, these estimation parameters which have their own dynamics so this paper have three types of variables number one state variables number two auxiliary system and number three uh, the dynamics of the unknown the, the dynamics of the estimation of the state parameters so let us see how we can write the matlab code for the example given at the end of this paper so let me take you down to the simulation example and uh, so here are some graphs that we will discuss later on but uh, here is the simulation example so you have three state variables the dynamics are given here and uh, the uh, the values alpha is related to uh, the control input these are given and the uh, dynamics of the theta hat which are the estimation of uh, no unknown parameter that's given these are some uh, values of the initial states and everything these are given here so let's see how we can implement this paper 
so this is uh, let me make this uh, side by side and uh, so first of all when we define the function here uh, like we always do we will do one thing different uh, we will uh, because this is our delay uh, this this differential equation is going to involve delay so in normally we define function dx equal to something function name t comma x now we will have an extra parameter in the uh, function input which is xd which is the delayed version of this state so there is time there is state vector and there is a delayed version of the state vector then we uh, say that the, like there will be nine states so in total there will be nine states because uh, let me make this a little bit bigger so there are three state variables original given three variables lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 which will be the states of the auxiliary system and there will be three states uh, which will be uh, theta 1 hat theta 2 hat theta 3 hat which will be basically the unknown parameter estimation uh, states so lambda 1 la lambda 1 is the seventh state lambda 2 is the eighth state and lambda 3 is the ninth state similarly uh, we also define lambda 1 delayed lambda 1 delayed is the x delayed seventh state lambda 2 delayed is the x uh, uh, delayed eighth state and lambda 3 delayed is the ninth state of the delayed version of the state vector now we plug in the values of k1 k2 k3 which are given in this in the paper here so here uh, the all the values are given so k1 k2 and so on are given in the paper and a1 a2 a3 similarly r1 r2 r3 these are the constant parameters that are delta 1 delta 2 delta 3 these are all given in the paper so we just uh, write down their values now we have to uh, do something related to this uh, capital fee so there is uh, if you look at the control uh, expression there is this capital fee so capital fee uh, there is capital fee 1 capital fee 2 capital fee 3 and fee 1 fee 2 fee 3 are dependent upon x1 x2 and x3 uh, so fee i as a function of x i so here x1 is uh, uh, the state 1 and lambda 1 x2 is state 2 state 1 and 2 and lambda 1 and 2 so these are sort of given in the paper it's not uh, very straightforward to uh, to look for them in the paper but they are given if you read the paper carefully so i have uh, sort of uh, hopefully highlighted them here yeah this is x2 so you can see x2 is x1 x2 lambda 1 lambda 2 and i have defined x1 x1 x2 lambda 1 lambda 2 and in general uh, similarly x1 is also written somewhere in the paper and th there is this is xn uh, which is x1 x2 x3 theta hat 1 theta hat 2 theta hat 3 lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 and up to so on so so i define like x3 to be x1 x2 x3 x4 and x5 are theta hat 1 and theta hat 2 we don't need theta hat 3 because theta hat goes up to n minus 1 only and then we need lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 then we need the delayed versions of x1 x2 x3 so delayed version of x1 is uh, same as x1 but with that uh, instead of using x we will use xd so then we will have uh, like the delayed version of uh, x1 x2 x3 we will need it because uh, there is uh, the control input in the state space model is delayed so we will need the delayed uh, version okay all right so next we define uh, some more parameters like uh, eta 1 E eta is basically this uh, if you go up that's uh, yeah eta denotes the width of uh, width of the gaussian function so this is the gaussian function that uh, the neural uh, network is going to assume and then uh, 
this is the phi expression of phi which is exponent of uh, x1 transpose so phi1 is exponent of minus phi1 transpose phi1 over eta uh, I have just assumed eta equal to 1 you can take any value for eta and I have assumed vi is to be equal to 0 so this is z minus vi uh, instead of z minus vi transpose times z minus vi I have taken just uh, uh, x1 so instead of z there is uh, x1 so here uh, this phi is shown to be function of z but we need phi to be function of x1 in our uh, simulation example so uh, similarly uh, i have taken three copies here s1 s2 s3 so the difference between s1 s2 s3 is uh, the difference in vi's since we have assumed vi is to be zero for everybody and eta to be same for everybody so uh, all three components of phi1 are the identical components okay you can also change the number of components i have taken three components that mean i have taken l is equal to three so you can try l is equal to two or something else some other value of l because the value of l is not clear in the paper then similarly phi2 is the same thing but instead of x1 there is x2 and phi3 is again the same thing but instead of x2 there is x3 then we have uh, the delayed version of phi1 uh, where instead of x1 the delayed version of x1 is used uh, and uh, then delayed version of phi2 delayed version of phi3 and now we define uh, z1 so z1 is uh, the variable here z1 is equal to x1 minus lambda1 so that's the way we define z1 here and similarly z1 delayed version is x1 delayed minus lambda 1 delayed and we have alpha 1 which is uh, an intermediate uh, function used in the control uh, you can see this this is alpha 1 so we have used alpha 1 here in the code so this paper is not very simple and straightforward uh, to read because you have to go inside the paper and search for the equations uh, but the, you know many papers are like that uh, and some papers are like that that they, you cannot even reproduce their results so you can only reproduce the results if the paper has uh, all of the required information uh, that is needed for uh, recreation of the simulation results and that is why not all papers are recreatable in terms of simulation examples but if you you know look at the papers that are published in fairly good journals uh, then it's a fair chance that they will be reproducible then uh, z2 is uh, x2 minus alpha 1 minus lambda 2 z2 delayed version is the same equation but with the delayed state space then we have alpha 2 alpha 2 equation is also given in the paper so here if you go down somewhere around this is alpha 2 given in the paper and uh, all we do in the code is just uh, figure out which equations we have to in uh, so uh, you know it when you when when you start coding you start with these equations the equations given in the example here these equations you start with these equations when you uh, you know type these equations and see okay where is uh, where is the value of tau and then you look at the expression of u where is the equation for phi 3 and then you look at the expression for alpha which is being used uh, you know in this uh, whole system so you say where is the value of uh, phi 1 function of x1 phi, phi 1 phi 2 function of x2 phi 3 function of x3 and so on etc so these things uh, you backtrack from the equations you start from here and then you search the relevant equations in the paper and then you write them in the code that is how uh, you usually have to do but if the paper is really well written all of the equations required to reproduce the results will be in one place so if you are writing a paper by yourself then my recommendation is that you make the life of the future researchers easy by writing good and readable papers 
सो z3 थ्री इज इक्वल टू एक्स थ्री माइनस एल्फा माइनस लेमडा थ्री एज इज दैट ऑल्सो गिवन इन द इन द पेपर दैन वी हैव जी थ्री डिलेड वर्जन एंड फाइनली वी कैन राइट द इक्वेशन फॉर द कंट्रोल विच इज फ्राम हियर सो दिस दिस इक्वेशन इज सो दिस इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ द कंट्रोल दैट आई हैव कॉपीड हियर एंड दिस इज द डिलेड वर्जन ऑफ द कंट्रोल बिकॉज वी आर गोइंग टू नीड द डिलेड वर्जन ऑफ कंट्रोल फॉर द स्टेट स्पेस एंड वी गो हियर and this is uh, these two files these two commands are to you know uh, store the values of the input uh, function and the delayed input function uh, for plotting purposes and uh, this is the these are the dy dynamics of the state the first state variable x1 dot this is this equation and this x2 dot the next equation and this is x3 dot this is this equation you, you notice that i have used the delayed input here in the equation of x3 dot and this is uh, theta1 dot given in the paper as here so theta1 theta2 theta3 dot are uh, determined from these uh, equations so uh, this is theta2 dot and similarly this is theta3 dot now we go to lambdas lambda1 dot lambda2 dot lambda3 dot and with nine states our system is complete so we return the dx so this is the whole code for uh, uh, the programming of uh, the simulation example next we go to the script file so in order because we are using delay differential equation so we will be so this uh, delete command you cannot use it first time when you run the file but since uh, i am using the appending uh, option while writing the values of u and u delay uh, so uh, once i run this file i will have to delete the previous files so that uh, the data does not uh, show the previous simulation run results so when you are first time running this file uh, you should not have these two commands but when you running them again then you can add the delete uh, commands so lag i have introduced the lag to be 0.05 the value of tau in the paper the value of tau is 1.5 seconds i have not uh, taken it to be 1.5 seconds i will tell you why then this is the main command solution is equal to dde23 at delay neural network this is the name of the file that we have defined here and here we give the lag value so what is the lag value and this is the initial condition but uh, to delay differential equation this is the history of state space so initial condition is also the history of the state space for uh, delayed differential equations and this is the time span for which i want to run so since these plots are from 0 to 20 seconds i have also selected the same time span then i in figure 1 i plot uh, time versus the first uh, three states which are x1 x2 x3 i turn on the grid write down the legend then i in figure 2 i plot uh, the state number 4 to 6 which is theta 1 hat theta 2 hat and theta 3 hat and then in figure 3 i plot uh, lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 then i plot Uh, then i read the u and u delay from the text files and i plot u and u delay so this is uh, all uh, the code and now let us uh, run this code and see what happens so if i press uh, if i run this code i'll get some results of course i have run this code before uh, making this video so uh, i know what's going to happen and that is why i am having these uh, commands in my code otherwise in the first run i would not be having these commands in my code so you can see here this is the um, uh, control input u and the control input u delay since there is a lag of 0.05 seconds you can see here that uh, the 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 red line which is uh, Uh, the delayed so it is constant for some time but this constant value is not zero 
that's the main important thing that this constant value is not zero why is this not zero because because the history of states is not zero so this is a non zero history of states based on that the uh, because this history is independent of time this is a constant history so that is why uh, the value of uh, delayed control is constant for the uh, time of lag you can uh, make it uh, zero by adding an if 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 command around this ud you can have an if uh, t is uh, less than equal to whatever your lag time is uh, you can make ud equal to zero and else ud equal to this equation uh, but uh, i have not uh, i mean i have not done that because i don't feel like i have to now this is the uh, uh, these are the plots of the input u these are the plots of the lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 these are the plots of theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 and these are the plots of x1 x2 x3 all plots look nice but if you compare these plots with uh, the plots given here for example this is the plot of the delayed input u first of all here the delayed input u is zero for the whole period of lag so uh, you can make it zero by adding you know if else here uh, it's up to you uh, for example if i make it uh, like uh, if t is less than equal to 0 0.05 uh, ud equals zero else ud equals this whole equation and i end this here okay. now i save it and then i run it so it will now my control input uh, will be zero the delayed control input will be so you can see here my delayed control input is zero for the time of the lag and then it uh, catch, tries to catch up with the original uh, non-delayed control input and um, but still my control input ranges between minus 5 to plus 2 but this control input goes to all the way minus 160 uh, maybe because the delay in my control is less and the delay in this control is uh, larger similarly my ODE solver is uh, the ODE 23 with DDE 23 which is delay differential equation with the maybe second order Ranga Kata methods uh, and uh, I don't know which solver has been used for these plots uh, the plots are definitely not the same as those in the paper and I was not even expecting them to be the same because uh, of course uh, we don't know what kind of values have been used uh, in the simulations done in the paper regarding this V and v, VIs we have assumed to be zero and so I don't know uh, uh, you know how these plots are actually generated but uh, but this uh, video is uh, to give you an idea how to how you can go about simulating such kind of systems which involve state space auxiliary states the delay in the control input uh, you can see here lambda 3 uh, this depends upon the difference between the delay control and the non delay control and uh, uh, and also I have some previous videos so for example on my channel there is a video MATLAB simulation of switched linear system with state dependent switching and delay you can watch this video I will post the link of this video in the description of current video uh, this will tell you how to you know this will also tell you the same thing that is in this video about uh, simulating using delay differential equations and this video uh, RBF neural networks based backstrapping control this is another video where neural network based control has been used or the simulation has been demonstrated you can uh, watch this video as well so these are the two relevant videos for which I will post the links I hope that uh, today's video was uh, useful for you and if you are uh, going to work on neural network based controls or delay based controls uh, the controls that involve delay this can help you and if you are like uh, looking to uh, do some research uh, advancing what has been done in this paper 
also this video might be some of some use to you well thank you for watching this video and hopefully soon we'll come back with the next video